हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे so this is a recap of yesterday's chapter yesterday we saw right krishna this is a peace formula understanding and remembering that krishna is the supreme enjoyer that is the reason whatever we do and whatever we have first we need to give it to krishna offer it to krishna right because he is supposed to enjoy first then you need to enjoy it uh, uh, taking it in the form of prasadam okay whatever it is even if it is new clothes new pen new pencil new eraser anything first go give it offer it to krishna in the puja room or wherever you have krishna's photo keep a tulsi on top of it and offer it then you start using it okay whatever you do you have to do it for krishna if you are studying tell krishna that you are studying for krishna and giving away all the results to krishna and then start studying okay because he is the supreme enjoyer not us okay krishna is the supreme controller everything is under krishna's control this entire world is under krishna's control okay so we need to offer our obeisances bow down to krishna every day and krishna is our only well wishing friend so if you understand these three things you will definitely uh, have lot of peace of mind okay we will not cry if something bad happens and um, whenever we have something bad happening in our life we will always ask krishna for help okay so yesterday we saw uh, krishna says don't leave don't give your work up right uh, you don't have to stop working you have to work for krishna krishna says no think of me and fight arjuna he says so in the same way we have to think of uh, krishna and then do our work okay whether we are studying whether we are playing whether we are eating we have to always think of krishna and then act according to him uh okay and um, yeah the so krishna we are all part and parcels of krishna okay we are all part of krishna so uh that's the reason we should always remember krishna because we all belong to krishna and here we we all, also spoke about controlling mind right a lot of people asked me in the class right how to control mind yesterday so it is uh, uh mind mind is so fragile right it is so restless it keeps thinking about so many things all the time and so many negative things all the time uh so i and if you you always we always have this tendency to like something and if we don't get it we will get angry and then if you get it you will want more of it right we are so greedy so all such things how do you overcome how do you, how to become a good person how to always think positive it is all when you chant okay so one must practice the control uh, practice to control uh, mind you know uh, uh, by chanting hari naam that is the only way chanting is the only way okay uh, that's why uh, you know uh, it is given in the puranas hari naam hari naam hari naam eva kevalam kalav nasti eva nasti eva nasti eva gatir anyatha there is no other way in kali yuga than chanting the holy name the lord okay yeah and happiness and distress happiness is within who is active within i mean when when you have um something very nice we start ha- us feeling happy and then if something bad happens you will again start feeling sad but if you chant every day regularly and become a pure devotee of krishna what happens every time you will be happy like hanuman hanuman no all the time he used to keep chanting uh, lord's name ram 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 all the time so even if something bad happened hanuman used to still feel happy because he would consider everything as krishna prasad okay just like this tree example whether it rains whether it is sunny the tree remains the same does this tree say no no it is raining i need umbrella no right so the tree is still the same we should also be the same way how do we become how do we reach that stage only by chanting hari naam that is the only way all problems one solution chanting okay japa is so important it is so magical okay uh, so now we are coming to the sixth chapter okay yoga so what is yoga yoga is whatever you are seeing in the picture is that yoga what is yoga anybody put your answers in the chat yes i shall tell me 
Mataji, Mataji connecting your mind and your body. Connecting it to what? Uh, Mataji Krishna. Yes. Yoga means it is the way to connect to Krishna. Okay. Whatever way, that doesn't matter. Whether you do karma yoga, whether you do jnana yoga, whether you do bhakti yoga, whether you do ashtanga yoga, doesn't matter. But yoga means connecting to the Lord. Okay. But what you can see in the picture, this is not yoga. Okay. This is just exercise. That's all. Are you connecting to the Lord by doing all this? No. Lord, when you have to connect to the Lord, you, you have to always have Krishna in your mind. And then do something for him. That becomes yoga. Okay. This you uh, we can do. Uh, people are doing all this type of exercises only to become fit, to increase concentration and all that. Okay. Not to connect to the Lord. And uh, people pretend. No. See this lady. She is doing yoga. She is calling this yoga, and then she has a alcohol bottle in her hand. Right. Such yoga even a dog can do. Okay. Can a dog connect to the Lord? Definitely not. Why? Because the dog doesn't know who is Krishna. But we human beings know who is Krishna. And by doing all these things, we cannot connect to the Lord. Okay. Uh, see, look at this. This person has buried his head only under the ground. Okay. How can you connect to the Lord by doing all this? This is foolishness. This is not yoga. Okay. So, uh, so we need to understand one thing that yoga means connecting to the Lord. Even in sitting in one place, on the bed, okay, or uh, uh, in your house, you can connect to the Lord. How? By chanting Harinam, okay, by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. You don't have to do so much of hard work. Look at this. These are all foolishness, okay. Uh, uh, this person has pierced his mouth only. This, you, by doing all this, you are hurting yourself. Krishna has given you this body, right? And you have to take care of your body. You have to maintain your health. But what are you doing by doing all this? we are actually spoiling our body. Krishna will not like this, okay? Our body's capacity will deteriorate, okay? So that is why all that is not yoga. That is all foolishness. A lot of people name it yoga, but it is not yoga. Uh, I'm sure your friends or you would have also gone no, to yoga classes and all, and schools also we have yoga classes, right? What do, what do you do there? It is just exercises, right? Your physical exercises. Are you connecting to Krishna? Okay, so uh, this, So a man must elevate himself by his own mind, not degrade himself. Okay, by doing all that piercing and all that, no, we, we are actually degrading our body. Okay, Krishna will not like that. Okay, so we have to always control our mind. Mind is our best friend if we control our mind. Okay, see, you can see in the picture, no, mindful and mindful. So this is mindful. You have so many things to think about in your mind. Where is place for Krishna? No place for Krishna only in your mind. But here, 
you're mindful. That means your mind has very less thoughts and all thoughts you have is all positive thoughts, thoughts about Krishna, okay? We have to reach this stage and we can reach this uh, stage only by chanting Hare Krishna every day, okay? Yeah, so uh, if you have so many thoughts in your mind, no, I want that, I want this. <coughs> so uh, you attract, I mean, you are attracted by these uh, sense objects. And what happens, like you see in the picture, you get trapped in it. Okay? Like a spider, no? Spider builds the web. After spy spider makes the web, spider gets trapped inside its own web. Okay? Spider gets trapped inside its own web. And then the spider does not know how to come out of it. And ultimately, the spider dies. Right? Same is happening with us. We, we want so many things in life. Okay? See, understand one thing. Krishna will give you what you want. Okay, you don't have to ask him about it. He is our father, no? So father knows what a child wants. So he will give us. Even if we don't ask, he will give us. Okay, but we keep thinking uh, that this and, and finally we get entrapped. We forget to think about Krishna because we are so busy about thinking so many other things. Oh, I want chocolate. I want to go here. I want to go there. I want to travel. I want to play. I want new dress. I want that. I want this. Okay. So we have so many things. Instead of thinking about all this, think about Krishna. Think, think about how he lifted Govardhan Hill. Think about how he used to dance with everybody, play flute and all that. Okay. That way what happened? You will become close to Krishna. Okay. So this is what is called by conquering mind. Mind should listen to you. You should not get carried away by whatever mind thinks. When your mind thinks something negative, stop and tell your mind, no, no, I'm thinking something wrong. I don't want to think about this. And start thinking about Krishna immediately. Okay? That way, you, if you control your mind, your mind will become your best friend and your mind will take you to Krishna. Okay? So now you can ask yourself, what is your mind to you? Enemy or friend? Okay? So you can judge yourself in this way itself. You don't even need somebody uh, to come and judge you. Okay? Just ask yourself, what is your mind to you? Friend or enemy? Okay? If your mind it th it thinks about so many negative things, so many other, uh, you know, things like money and uh, 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 new, uh, new things like dress and all that, uh, uh, all that, then your mind is your enemy because you're not thinking about Krishna. Okay? If your mind is thinking about Krishna, you know, how many rounds to chant today? Um, I want to get up early in the morning and chant tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I want to do, I want to go to the temple tomorrow. I want to learn a kirtan tomorrow. How to serve the Lord. All that, if you think, then your, your mind is your best friend because you're thinking about Krishna and you can go back to Krishna. Okay. So <coughs> in this yoga, uh, chanting is the only way. Okay. So um, in Kali Yuga, chanting the holy name of the Lord is the only way. There is no other way of deliverance. Okay? There is no other way. You have to chant and only then go back to Krishna. Otherwise, even Krishna cannot help. All, all Krishna says is chant. Start chanting, then I will, you know, um, uh, then you can go back to Krishna. Then Krishna says, okay, I will take you to Golok Vrindavan. If you don't chant, even Krishna cannot help. Remember that. Okay? Yeah, so we have uh, 4 lakh uh, yeah, as per 2021. So we have 425,878 years left in Kali Yuga. Okay. Total, we have like around uh, 4 lakh 34 years or something, right? For, in Kali Yuga. So we, we've finished around 5 to 6, yeah, 5 to 5,000 years. And uh, we, we still have remaining 4,000, uh, I mean, 4 lakh 25,878 years left in Kali Yuga. Okay. So long it is. So we have to start going to Golok Vrindavan now itself. Otherwise, you have to uh, again take one, uh, take one, uh, uh, leave your body, take another body, leave your body, take another body. Right? This is a trap, right? We already saw in second chapter, and we have to take eighty-four lakh species of janmas. Uh, you need to take birth in an aquatic uh, organism, and then reptiles, and then uh, lion, tiger, dog. Ant, I mean, so many animals, right? And then you will get human form of life. And then after getting human form of life, if you don't chant, again, you have to repeat 84 lakh species of life. What are we doing? We are just wasting time. Yes, Krishna is waiting for us. And what are we doing? We are just wasting time. So we need to start chanting because now that we have got human form of life, we can start chanting. 
okay can a dog chant no can a cat chant no why they don't have proper um speeching speech skills right they cannot talk <coughs> so they cannot chant can, can you go ask your pet parrot or uh, fish in the fish tank to go to go and chant hare krishna no they will not even they, they don't even know what you are saying they don't even know who is krishna yes but you know why because you have human form of life and now if you don't think about krishna and don't chant you are wasting your human form of life okay krishna will not give you human form next life he will tell i had given you human form what did you do you did not even chant properly so i will not give you human form of life that is the law of karma okay big uh, yeah and our human form of life no the body material body it is made up of <coughs> five elements that we all know air water ether earth and fire right but now uh, krishna is introducing us to ayurveda concept also okay so uh, our human body has three predominant elements okay vata pitta kapha so ayurveda that we all know it is the science of health right it is the oldest science of health so vata pitta kapha these are the uh, three elements that our body is made up of okay apart from these five elements that you can see so if you are uh, if uh, if our body has vata nature more that means our body has more of ether and air content okay if it is of pitta nature then it is fire and water content is more in our body and if we have lot of kapha in our body then it is earth and water content is more in our body okay so this is how the ayurvedic doctors give us medicines and treat us in case we have any um, health problems okay just remember so much it's very important because ayurveda is vedic knowledge ayurveda is given in the vedas okay uh, uh, this allopathic medicine they are all artificial man made okay it is man made science but ayurveda is divine science krishna has given it to us in the vedas itself that's why ayurveda medicine has no side effects if you take um english medicine no tablet and all if you have cold fever and all then you will have side effects also okay so uh, we just did this right uh, we uh, we have to take birth in so many janmas uh, so many animal species and um, always remember in whichever birth we take whichever body we are to our soul goes paramatma krishna will be there okay in the form of paramatma as our friend that's why krishna is our eternal friend and uh, then this is also a nice fact okay so our body uh, every every 11 months all the cells in our body uh, get regenerated okay new cells come every 11 months um, but brain cells grow only after 7 years okay so uh that's why brain is considered a very important uh, organ in our body because only after 7 uh, years we get new brain cells okay uh, so that's why we have uh, that's how our memory power gets strengthened okay if uh, the, uh, and uh, that's why brain is considered so important in our body and if we don't uh, uh, you know control our mind uh, our brain properly then the brain will get deteriorated okay the brain will start thinking only bad things and we uh, we all end up becoming a bad person okay so this is also a very nice example see uh, dia okay uh, when there is a lamp when there is lot of wind then the lamp the the uh, lamp always shatters right it it keeps wavering uh, but the light keeps wavering but if there is no air if if everything is calm around the uh, the light increases actually it ne it never wavers yes or no so our mind is also same okay if we think about good things and krishna we we get lot of self confidence okay and our strength increases okay you can score good marks because our concentration ability increases because we are concentration concentrating on krishna right so whatever you do you will succeed all of you will start uh, coming and appreciating you okay you'll get good marks you'll you'll win all the competitions everything but if you think about so many other things apart from krishna uh, your negativity increases and you uh, and we cannot definitely not um uh, uh, succeed in what we are doing okay so that way we will have to undergo failures in life so that's why krishna is the only solution for everything now krishna is speaking about ashtanga yoga okay what is ashtanga yoga you actually uh, in olden days na in satya yuga 
Satya Yoga life spans used to be lots. Okay, people used to be alive for one lakh years. Okay, now in Kali Yoga it's just hundred years, and nobody is going to be alive for hundred years. It's just eighty years, seventy years. Yes. So, but in Satya Yoga, everybody used to be alive for one lakh years. Okay. So, uh, uh, after their retirement, you no, know, after uh, uh, they um, their uh, they work. I mean, uh, after working, they retire, right? After their retirement, they would go to the forest, okay? And they would go to the forest, leave their family, leave their children, leave their husband, wife, everything, uh, parents, everything. They they would go to the forest, sit there in under a tree, okay? They would spread a deer skin, okay, a dead deer skin, uh, sit there under a tree, and then start uh, meditation, okay? Like you see in the picture. Uh, uh, if you start meditation, what happens? Meditation means you focus on your breath, your your inhalation and exhalation. You inhale breath and exhale breath, right? So, uh, meditation is concentration. I mean, concentrating your mind only on that breath. Okay, inhalation and exhalation. That is called meditation. Okay, and you concentrate so much years together. It will not happen. Okay, one night. Okay, today I'll go meditate. Tomorrow I will see Krishna. No. It takes years, almost entire lifetime. It takes. Okay, you you have to just sit in that place and meditate for years without getting up from that place. Okay, so difficult Ashtanga Yoga is. Okay, ah uh, for years, how many years it takes? God knows. Okay, you should not get up from your place. You should continue to meditate, and then one day, if your concentration is pure, that is, if you start. if you completely stop thinking about outside world and concentrate only on your breath inhalation exhalation then you will be able to see paramatma in your heart okay so that is the process of ashtanga yoga so difficult yes uh, so uh, but for us it, god has made it so easy no serving krishna with purified senses is called krishna consciousness so for us krishna has made it so easy prabhupad came and told krishna consciousness what is consciousness thinking thoughts right mind brain so krishna consciousness krishna has to be uh, has to be there in your thoughts okay that means what thinking about krishna is only called as krishna consciousness whatever you do doesn't matter whether you are playing whether you are dancing whether you are traveling just think about krishna if you if okay it is so easy just say krishna once you say krishna and krishna thoughts come in your mind if there is, uh, if thoughts about krishna is not coming in your mind do your japa okay and then see krishna's pictures right you can listen to a krishna bhajan okay this way what happens you will uh, uh, get into krishna consciousness consciousness has to change to krishna okay if you are um, say you are uh, playing uh, i mean uh, okay say you are eating okay a good example uh if if you are eating in krishna consciousness then you will first give uh, whatever you are eating before eating to krishna and then you will start eating okay if you are uh, another example if you are cooking okay or uh, say you want to make something a sandwich or something for your parents okay uh, and give them a surprise okay uh, a small uh, or you want to bring something for your parents so what happens all this while you have parents in your mind Uh, okay i'm doing this for my mom i'm doing this for my dad but if you change it to krishna immediately it becomes krishna consciousness i'm doing it for krishna i'm bringing this home to serve krishna okay not your not just your parents first you have to serve krishna even if you cook something you have to go first offer it to krishna then giving it, give it to your parents if you bring something say you're ordering ice cream okay you need to first order uh, ice cream and when you get it you have to go offer it to krishna okay with the tulsi leaf then you have to give your mom and dad or anybody okay so that way what happens in your mind you will have krishna okay so that becomes krishna consciousness consciousness has to has to change from mom and dad to krishna from friends to krishna okay so you have to think about krishna enough of thinking about everything else okay now it's time to think about krishna because krishna consciousness is the easiest yoga Ashtanga Yoga is so difficult. Now, if I ask you to go to forest, will you go? No, nobody can go. Even I cannot go, right? So, uh, Ashtanga Yoga is difficult. But if you chant Krishna, uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, and think about Krishna, Krishna consciousness, no consciousness has to be Krishna. Then 
uh, it is the best and topmost yoga system okay that is the best way to go back to krishna okay so now if you think about krishna all the time what happens you can see krishna everywhere right uh, uh, because krishna is there in every atom no the uh, la the laptop that i'm using has krishna in it that's why i'm using my laptop to take bhagavad gita class see that way i'm thinking about krishna right uh, so if i'm going to office office also has krishna in it how because what if i'm going to office and uh, out of the salary that i'm getting i'm again using it for krishna's service right so that way everything becomes krishna consciousness uh, and everything everywhere you see krishna okay that, that way what happens you will always think about krishna that uh, you will not forget krishna so you have to uh, see krishna in everything that you're doing studying example right so uh, studies also you can see krishna how tell krishna i am studying for you okay uh, give all the knowledge and result that you get go give it to krishna okay even before you study you have to tell krishna i am going to give all the result that i am getting from studies to you and then you start studying okay that's the easiest way so that time even studies will have krishna in it okay so otherwise see this this world is dukkhale mashashvatam okay there is no happiness in this world there is always distress even if you are happy for 2 minutes 5 minutes it is just temporary again you will have to be sad for something okay so uh, why why are we feeling so distress why are we crying why is there so much sadness every day why because we are forgetting krishna okay even if you get something sad sadness or distress in your life look at it as krishna prasadam he is the one who is giving you right see i gave you the example yesterday good marks if you get you are very happy if you get bad marks you will go ask god no why did you give me bad marks why good marks also krishna only gave why didn't you go and ask krishna when you got good marks why krishna you gave me good marks no nobody asks right only when we get bad marks we'll be like why krishna why 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 good marks bad marks both krishna only gives okay happiness sadness both krishna only gives so we only when we forget that krishna has given this to us we will actually sit and cry okay so remember krishna all the time so that you will not cry for anything bad okay in fact we will be happy because it is krishna prasadam okay ayush do you want to chant चंचलम हि मना कृष्ण प्रमाधि बलवद्रुढम तस्याहम निद्रहम मन्ये वायो रिगसुदुष्टरम यस so for the mind uh, so chanchalam hi mana krishna now after uh, arjuna understands what ashtanga yoga is okay going to forest and doing all this krishna uh, arjuna will be like what it is so difficult and how can you meditate i mean how can you control your mind for so many years without getting up staying in the same place eating fruits leaf sit to study you have so many things mind is very difficult uh, that's what arjuna says and who is arjuna he is such a great great uh, you know person okay archery mein he he is he is he is an expert in archery okay so uh, you can see no when dronacharya asked uh, all the pandavas and kauravas to shoot uh, the uh, eye of a bird everybody were like no we cannot right nobody could do it but arjuna told i can see only the eye and i will shoot and he shot right and he arjuna also impressed shiva lord shiva by fighting with him and then he got pashupatastra from arjuna right uh, uh, for some from shiva so arjuna is such a great personality he is a great uh, uh, archery expert right uh, but arjuna is only telling mind is very difficult to control why because he knows people in kaliyuga are are very dumb they cannot control their mind that easily so he is for us he is asking okay he can control his mind very well but he is asking for us because we it's not possible for us to go to the forest and chant right i mean meditate right that's why arjuna is asking 
uh, for us okay uh, for for people like us it for it it is very difficult to control mind so what should they do okay so that's why arjuna is telling uh, maybe we can control the wind but not mind okay uh, this there is a story okay um, once a person went to a guru okay and then uh, said i want a mantra to control my mind so that i can uh, go to god easily so that guru gave him a mantra and then said you chant chant this mantra every day but there is one condition don't think about monkey when you chant just chant with full concentration don't think about monkey when you chant and you know what that person did all the time he sat and chanted that mantra he used to think only about monkey okay why because mind is like that it is very restless okay uh, whatever you ask your mind not to think that is what your mind thinks okay mind never listens to you it is very stubborn okay that's why it is very difficult to control mind otherwise it would be easy no why should we chant we can just like that control our mind no mind is like a monkey okay uh, like a one monkey uh, ch- jumps from one, one branch to another no in the same way our mind also keeps jumping from one thought to another now you will be thinking about your yeah, school next minute you will thinking about uh, friends next minute you will think about uh, tomorrow what should i eat <laughs> okay so uh, so mind keeps jumping from one thought to another like a monkey whatever you ask your mind not to do that only your mind does okay that's why you need krishna's help to control your mind okay uh, so easiest way to control mind is uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu who is krishna himself says chanting hare krishna okay and that is the greatest mantra okay uh, and and that you know uh, chanting hare krishna helps you control your mind fully why because your mind has got something to think about no your krishna you are asking your mind to think about krishna by chanting hare krishna and when you chant hare krishna krishna is always there okay the moment you say krishna krishna is there and when krishna is there your mind automatically listens okay and your mind automatically starts thinking only about krishna okay so to reach that stage we have to start chanting every day at least one round okay our target is 16 round but we have to start with one round okay uh, only then we can reach 16 round very easily okay so man mantra okay man means mind in hindi right and tra means something that you used to control that is mantra okay uh, uh, that's why mantra mean mantra is the way to control your mind easily okay and hare krishna maha mantra it's the greatest mantra that's why we don't say hare krishna mantra we say hare krishna maha mantra right because there is no other mantra which is as great as hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram ram hare ram 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 hare hare why because krishna himself gave it to us right in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu came and he is the one who gave all of us hare krishna maha mantra before that there was no hare krishna maha mantra okay so that's why hare krishna maha mantra is so powerful and when you chant that automatically we will start controlling our mind and think about krishna okay uh, i want one of you to read can you raise your hands these are all evidence from scriptures okay um which tell us how great hare krishna maha mantra is and when you chant hare krishna maha mantra you can auto in i mean You, you there is no doubt you can go back to krishna easily yes shrest yes my okay spiritual references after searching through all the vedic literature one cannot find a method of religion more sublime for this age than the chanting of hare krishna kali yes. shantar yeah. thank you hare krishna so uh uh see after searching all the vedic literatures okay there is no other way which is as effective as chanting hare krishna maha mantra it's the easiest way and uh, the best way okay and uh, next who 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 else wants to read yes mind you king all true kali yuga is full of faults this still one good quality about the says it is simply by chanting hare krishna maha mantra one can become free from material bondage and be promoted to transcendental kingdom 
Srimad Bhagavatam 12.3.151. Hi, Bol. Yes. Okay. So, um, <coughs> here, um, uh, Kali Yuga is full of defects, right? We, we have less memory power. We live only for 80, 90 years, right? But uh, people of olden yugas, they, they had so much of memory power. They used to not have internet, recording facility, nothing. When somebody used to tell them something, they would remember for the rest of their life. As it is, we, we keep forgetting. Morning, somebody says, says something, we forget. Evening, right? So, uh, so that's why Kali Yuga is full of defects and faults. So that's why we cannot go and go to the forest and sit and meditate like that. Okay, we don't even have the time to go to temple and see the deity and worship, right? Temple worship was prescribed for Dwapar Yuga. But Kali Yuga, it is only chanting. Sankirtan Yajna, right? Chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra is one can become free from material bondage and can be promoted to the transcendental kingdom. See, uh, Bhagavatam also says this. Okay? Now, um, here uh, there is Goloka chart. Okay? Uh, we will be doing this in detail in the further chapters, but now I will just give you an introduction. Okay? Uh, first of all, there is this world, right? Whatever we are living in, earthly planets. Above that is Brahmaloka. Brahmaloka is the topmost material world, uh, planet in the material world. So the earth that we are living in is material world. Then comes Satyaloka, that is Brahmaloka. It is the topmost planet in the material world. Okay. After that comes the spiritual sky. Okay. Spiritual sky means it is not material. It is spiritual. Krishna will be there. Okay. All Vaikuntha planets come. You can see over here, right? Uh, this blue color thing. So here all Vaikuntha planets will be there. So many Vaikuntha planets is there. In one planet, Vishnu will be there in the form of uh, Parthasarthi. In other planet, he will be there in the form of Govinda. In other planet, he will be there in the form of uh, Hrishikesha. Okay. Uh, Aniruddha, Pradyumna, okay? Vasudeva. So many forms. Okay. Dif different name, Madhusudana. Uh, 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 I mean, Keshava, Madhava. Right. Krish uh, uh, Vishnu has so many forms, right? So in each planet, he will be there in one different form. Rama, right? Um, Varaha, Narasimha. So these are all Vaikuntha planets. That's why we have thousands and millions of Vaikuntha planets. Above all this Vaikuntha planet comes Krishna Loka. Can you see this pink color? This is Krishna Loka. Here it is called Goloka Vrindavana. Okay. So Goloka Vrindavana is even above the Vaikuntha planets. Okay. That's why we say Vishnu is also subordinate to Krishna. But Krishna and Vishnu has almost, they are, they are same. I mean, they are almost same. Okay, very, very minute difference. But uh, uh, still there is minute difference, right? That's why uh, Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. Golok Vrindavana is above even Vaikuntha Lokas, right? So our goal should be to reach Golok Vrindavan. Because uh, Krishna will be there in Golok Vrindavan, okay? Playing flute, playing with his friends and all that. That, that is so nice, right? Uh, yeah, so of all sacrifices, I am chanting of the holy name. In 10th chapter, Krishna says, Yajnanam Japa Yajnosmi, uh, right? Uh, out of all the sacrifices, um, be it fi fire sacrifice, be it temple deity worship, okay? Be it uh, Shtanga Yoga. Out of all the sacrifices, what am I? Japa. So Krishna is Japa Yajna. By, by chanting, we respect Krishna more and more. Because Krishna himself has told, I am Japa Yajna. Okay? It's the easiest way and, uh, uh, and very uh, uh, you know, in a powerful way. Okay? The one more hears about Krishna. Okay? The more one becomes attached to Krishna. So much we should remember. Okay? If you hear about Krishna all the time. Okay? Srimad Bhagavatam. You know, if you join Sunday school, uh, I think they, they get, teach you about Srimad Bhagavatam, all Krishna stories, okay? How Krishna was born, what all he did, okay? So many incarnations of Krishna, right? What, what did he do in Varaha avatar? What did he do in Narasimha avatar? What did he do in uh, Rama avatar, okay? What did he do in Matsya, Kurma, right? So many avatars of Krishna. What did he do? All that uh, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is clearly mentioned. And they're all stories, you know? So interesting stories are. And in Sunday school, we get to learn all those stories. Okay. So uh, by hearing. So this is called hearing about Krishna. Okay. Uh, so when you hear about Krishna, what happens? You will start um, 
when you hear about krishna what happens you will get attached to krishna more and more okay and the unsuccessful yogi after many many years of enjoyment on the planets of the pious living entities is born into a family of righteous people or into a family of rich aristocracy okay now what happens if you are doing japa properly regularly but in case you uh, don't complete your devotional service fully okay that time what happens krishna will uh, uh, help you take birth in a uh, aristocratic family as in a, a rich family okay or krishna will help you take birth in uh, a a brahmana family okay a vaishnava family so that what happens so what happens in that time uh, uh, you can take birth in a you, you will be taking birth in a brahmana family or a rich family right you so you don't have to worry much about money or anything as such you will you can start uh, start doing a devotional service you don't even have to work hard because you will have all the money you need right so what happens uh, you don't have to worry at all uh, uh, you can start chanting right from your birth and uh, start doing krishna service okay and you will have all the support like this one in this in the picture you can see right so uh, if if you are taking you if you will be taking birth in a brahmana family in your next life if you chant properly in this life then krishna will definitely give you a human form of life and he will make you take birth in a brahmana family or in a rich family okay and from your childhood itself your parents will start teaching you about krishna and you will become a great devotee of krishna right from your birth okay so what happens that time you can go back to krishna easily okay so that is the magic that see krishna helps us so well right uh, krishna helps us in every way possible and then but when the yogi engages himself with sincere endeavor in making further progress being washed of all contaminations then ultimately after many many births of practice he attains the supreme goal okay you are all kids no you are so lucky you've got krishna consciousness in such young age right you are you, you are all chanting one round right now itself right that means in your previous janma you would have done something very very good or you 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 were all devotees in your previous janma that's why krishna has given you krishna consciousness in this young age itself just when you are kids okay so that time what happened now your kids no now if you chant one round by the time you grow up and become an adult you would have been chanting 16 rounds right and when you become an adult and chant 16 rounds you can go back to krishna in this life itself you will not have to take next janma right so think about all this it's very important to chant okay and that is all uh, that is what yoga is all about okay we have karma yoga then we have uh, gnana yoga then we have ashtanga yoga then we have bhakti yoga so bhakti yoga is the topmost yoga system okay karma yoga is through your activities do, doing everything for krishna that is karma yoga gnana yoga is knowledge okay knowing that you are not the soul you are uh, i mean you are not the body you are the soul and krishna is the supreme all, all this is gnana yoga ashtanga yoga we just discussed going to the forest and meditating and bhakti yoga is the easiest and more powerful it is the most powerful uh, uh, way of uh, devotional service because bhakti yoga you relate yourself directly to krishna okay bhakti yoga involves chanting chant if you are chanting every day regularly it is bhakti yoga okay if you are uh, reading about krishna every day it is bhakti yoga if you are reading bhagavad gita it is bhakti yoga if you are eating krishna prasadam it is bhakti yoga okay if you are drawing krishna it is bhakti yoga if you are writing krishna stories it is bhakti yoga if you are writing about krishna poems it is bhakti yoga so all this comes under bhakti yoga that's why bhakti yoga is easy and powerful okay um yeah so the highest yoga is to always think about krishna okay and love krishna loving krishna is the most highest of all the yogas okay prabhupad says that's why bhakti yoga is the topmost because you are directly connecting with krishna like right like radha rani over here in the picture you can see she is putting uh, flowers to krishna's feet right that means she is directly connecting with krishna so uh, this is called a bhakti yoga okay so we have karma yoga gnana yoga ashtanga yoga bhakti yoga bhakti yoga is the topmost okay so this is the ladder you don't have to go to 
ಕರ್ಮ ಯೋಗ ದೆನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಜ್ಞಾನ ಯೋಗ ದೆನ್ ಡು ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಯೋಗ ದೆನ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ನೋ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಡೂ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಓಕೆ ವೈ ಡು ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಚ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಟ್ ನೋ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ so time consuming and it is so tiresome right and then when you go to the go on top you feel tired but if you go in lift it is in 2 seconds you can go to the top floor right top most floor and that is bhakti yoga bhakti yoga is the lift to reach krishna okay if you go to gra- uh, karma yoga gnana yoga and all it is a uh, staircase okay so always engage yourself in devotional service it's very very important okay with determination yesterday we saw the story right sparrow and garuda story um so the sparrow never gave up the sparrow was emptying the ocean with its beak right one drop at a time but seeing that dedication determination garuda came and uh, asked the ocean to return all the eggs yes so that is determination never give up okay krishna is god okay he is the only god he is the supreme god and he is a supreme personality of godhead he is a person okay and he has shama sundara form and he is sachidananda that we've already seen right and uh, yeah so these are small poems okay uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, you can also do this we all know these poems right rain rain go away that is the original poem you can you can definitely uh, uh, compose it for krishna see see this is a very nice example kaaf kaaf go away come again another day little krishna wants to play come again another day right so these are all uh, poems which you yourself can do right um, uh, we all we all learned rhymes in our uh, school days i mean childhood right and we can always tilt it change the lyrics and add krishna in it right dem and dem and go away don't come another day little krishna is on the way dem and dem and go away so uh, creativity this is called bhakti yoga so how, how do you use your creativity to serve the lord okay so uh, it's as simple as that okay so these are all pictures that i received from the previous batch okay this batch start drawing if you haven't started yet and send it to me okay i received very few so that's why i'm not displaying once i receive more i will start displaying them okay so short story if you're good in writing you can write stories right Uh, so many stories are there about krishna and uh, you can also if you're good in uh, composing you can compose poems right okay now uh, i'll unmute all of you chant hari krishna 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 hari okay i'll play the video but uh, in the meantime do you have any questions raise your hand please stop the recording uh yes suryansh tell me hare krishna mata ji hare krishna um mata ji when will you add the artwork on my uh on the side it's not there mata ji i send it you yeah but uh, do, it's not there in the presentation slide yes mata ji oh, okay okay i'll check uh, you, just ping me personally okay 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 mata ji okay any other question no mata ji hare krishna hare krishna um adviti uh manda ji i cannot understand ashtanga yoga ashtanga yoga is going to the forest and uh, uh, sitting on a under a tree on a deer skin okay and uh, concentrating your mind on the breath inhaling and exhaling 
Okay, that is called Ashtanga Yoga. Okay. okay yes. Any other questions? No, my God. Okay. Anybody else? No. Okay. We will watch this. Okay. Prabhuji, you can stop the recording. playing Krishna dear your sweet music makes my hard work a joy no play. milk <laughs> I'm not making milk my little angel cows make milk I'm churning butter milk. Milk. oh you want milk my little jewel is hungry You shall have all the milk your tummy can hold. I'll be back in a minute, my darling. to interrupt you. Oh, Krishna. I know you're hiding, but you have nothing to fear, my clever little darling. I won't punish you for breaking my butter pot. Krishna? Krishna! Have you boys seen where Krishna has gone? Thank you. 
Krishna, my darling boy, what have I done? If you are fearful of your mother, who loves you more than anyone in the universe, what will become of you? <gasps> That's good. Yes, I sense danger in the air as well. And you are also quite dangerous to yourself. But I know just how to keep you out of trouble. Now, you just sit there while I tie you. No tie. I could have sworn I cut this long enough. Hmm, that's more than enough. Ah, uh, no tie. be long enough. No die. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how it could be possible, my little Krishna, but I get the odd feeling your desire to remain free is preventing me from tying you. little angel and don't cry. I'll be back after I finish my chores. Mama! Krishna, of course. I am Nalakuvara and this is my brother, Manigriva. We have been trapped inside those Arjuna trees. The great sage Narad Muni placed us there for being too proud of our material wealth. He said that we would meet the Supreme Lord face to face and be freed from our bondage. And so it has come to pass. We shall be your devotees forevermore. <laughs> What on earth happened here? Kiss fell down and boom! Who could have pulled down such big trees? Krishna pulled them down. Krishna? That's impossible. 
It's true. He crawled between the trees and the wooden mortar got stuck. Then he just kept on going and pulled them down. And then two brilliant people came out. Two brilliant people? Yes. They spoke to Krishna, bowing their heads low to him. Then they vanished into the sky. Kavish. Every time something unusual happens, Krishna is always right there. The boy's got a point. There's something unusual about your son, Nanda. He's not unusual. He's extraordinary. Aren't you, you little jewel of Vrindavan? Yes, extraordinary. <laughs> hey Krishna, the jewel of Vrindavan, little Krishna, the jewel of the universe, hey Krishna, the jewel of Vrindavan, little Krishna, the jewel of the universe. Krishna, where have you been? Krishna bad? How could my darling little boy be bad? You're the most wonderful boy in the world. Okay, so this is Damodar Leela. Okay, so uh, Krishna was tied up and uh, he still goes and pulls down two trees and from the trees come out um, Kubera's sons, okay? They are called Nalakuvara and Manipriva. So those two people come out and they were cursed by Narada Muni. So Krishna comes and liberates them, okay? Yeah, so this is a very nice uh, uh, Leela of Krishna. So what is Empowered Acharya? Empowered Acharya is a person who is who gets special power from Krishna to do a job, okay? Like Prabhupada. Prabhupada is called an empowered Acharya by because Krishna has given him special power. Otherwise, it is who who can go to America at the age of 69 and and uh, you know even after two heart attacks and spread Krishna consciousness. You need special power from Krishna to do that, right? That's why he's called empowered Acharya. Okay. Any other questions? Anybody? No. Okay. We will wind up. Okay, Adviti, do you have any question? Uh, Ma'am, uh, the true trees and two persons came out of them. Yeah. Who are they? They are Nalakubara and Manigriva. They are Kubera's sons. Okay, Kubera is the treasurer of uh, demigods. And they are Kubera's sons. They were cursed by uh, Narada Muni. That's why they were into the tree. Okay? Okay, let's wind up. Pancha kalpata rubhyascha kripa sindubhya evacha patitanam pavani bhyo vaishnavi bhyo namo namaha anantakoti vaishnavindiki jai Srila Prabhupada ki jai Hare Krishna.